guys and welcome to another video so as you guys can tell by the title I'm going to be doing a very beachy summer glowy dewy skin makeup look this is purely a skin focused makeup tutorial so I'm not going to be doing a full face of glam or anything like that this is just something that I would love to wear or I do wear during the summer months when it's more warmer it's like you don't want to wear as much makeup you can get away with like very more like lay natural look like you want to look like you haven't tried but really like you're wearing like a thousand different products in your face <laughs> but yeah this is a minimalistic makeup look too so i wouldn't actually have like too many steps to it but it does just look so dewy glowy and fresh and just super healthy and like bronzy so yeah i'm super excited to get to it if you guys are interested in how to achieve a very minimalistic but very effective <laughs> glowy skin makeup look then just keep watching <laughs> So what I've been doing recently and I've absolutely been loving, I'll make sure to leave the video linked in the description bar as well as in the cards above, but I've been using the Goody Co Dream Serum as my primer. I am oily, however these are really good for people with oily skin. It just helps combat the excess oils that your body produces and I just, I've really been loving this as a primer lately, it's just so nice and especially during like, I know it is um, some of you guys up in the northern hemisphere, but here it's been winter and my skin has been really dry So I've just loved having something to give it like a bit of moisture to it even though I am oily I have been having a little bit of drier skin lately So what I like to do is I squeeze just like a drop or so of that serum out and I just massage it into my skin. It's a beautiful Beautiful priming serum. It just helps the makeup stick and last and just helps your skin feel so good and so moisturized and so healthy and it just gives such a nice glow to the skin as well like just a healthy dewy effect just it's so nice so next i find this the most crucial step in any makeup routine or especially like a summer look of course it's sunscreen so you guys can use whatever sunscreen you like i have been living by this this is the Solio Organics All Natural Sunscreen. There's no chemical UV absorbers, no titanium dark side, no synthetic preservatives. I love it because it's natural. I'm all for like natural products as you guys know, especially if you've been with my channel for a while. And I swear by this, especially because it's organic. So you're not getting any nasty soaking into your skin. And with my sensitive skin, I do react to your everyday sunscreen. I break out like no end. So I like to use this because it won't break me out with this sunscreen you want to like squeeze the bottle beforehand before you use it just because some of the products can separate and I only use a, just a touch a tiny tiny amount because this does leave like a sort of white cast to the skin um, so just forewarning you with that it does have a white a white tinge to the face but I don't know I don't mind especially when applying different products on top it doesn't really phase me too much. There we go, now we're all protected against the sun so our skin will stay nice and young and plump. So next to get like a bronzy glow to the skin, I'm going in with like a kind of bronzy glowy tinted liquid. This is from Natasha Denona. And I'm just swiping it on the areas that I'm going to bronze and glow my skin. Now first of all, just apply it with my fingers into the skin. Oh. It just creates the most beautiful glow to the skin. And it tints it, it gives a bit of like a bronze tint to it. As you can see the liquid was a bit tinted so it's good just to give yourself a bit of colour as well. But like it's not too heavy where in a sense it'll look too much. It's just very soft and natural. And then I'll just take a damp beauty sponge and just kind of settle that product into the skin a little bit more. So next I'm going to go in with a smidge bit of foundation. And I mean like just a smidge. So just applying a bit of coverage where I just feel like, you know, I just want a little bit of something extra. I don't want a full face of foundation. I'm literally just going to take a tiny, tiny amount. So I'm going to take my Raw Wildberry Nourish Foundation in the shade Honey. I like this one because it is already a sheer like foundation so it won't apply too much coverage. I want to see my freckles and all my, you know, like I like the imperfection look like what days really can you wear le least amount of makeup? Like it's those beach days. Like I just feel like it just, the summer beachy days is like when you can get away with just a minimal amount of makeup if anything and you just look so healthy and glowy and bronze and fresh and you know it's just always so good. I can still see like my freckles showing through as well which I really love. I mean, I actually love the freckles look. If I had more freckles, oh, 
that would be a dream. Just like that. So it's just a light little wash on some of the areas. Like I haven't applied it to my whole face. Just maybe like the center a little bit here, the nose, and on these two like little bad boys. I'm just going back in with a little bit of that Natasha Denona um, body glow on just the little high points of the cheekbones. And I'm bringing it just slightly higher just under the eye bit here just to brighten it up because we aren't going to go in with concealer or anything like that so you're just taking it slightly on the brow bone so next to kind of just set the center of the face where i don't want any like oiliness like that kind of look going on i'm going to take a loose powder so i'm going to take my laura mercier universal translucent setting powder and with a damp beauty sponge i'm just going to press that in to my forehead, um, like around the nose where I can kind of get oily, just the T-zone really. So finally just to give a bit a final like glow up and colour, just a smidgen, smidgen amount again, I'm going to take this Wild and Radiant Baked Eliminating and Bronzing Palette from BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to first of all take that kind of medium bronze tone from the palette and apply that to the bronzy areas of the face where I just kind of want to give a bit more colour just a smidgen amount like I've been saying and just kind of hit the bridge of the nose too where we can tend to get that sun hitting the skin next I'm going to dip into that lightest shade from the palette and I'm going to apply it to the very high points of the cheekbones just the cheekbones and maybe the tip of the nose if I'm feeling adventurous <laughs> So I am going to take my Kevin Aquan um, Diamond Eye Gloss. I actually like using this to make my like highlight look more natural and like sink into the skin a little bit more. It is optional. You guys don't have to go on with this step. I do love just how the skin looks at the moment with just the products that we've used. But I am feeling just like a little bit extra. So I will go in with just a smidgen of this on my beauty sponge. Just to apply like a sheer amount to the skin. And you can just see the difference. It just helps it soak in just that little bit more. It actually look like skin, like your like your skin is just oozing glow. Not oil. No, not oil glow. And that, ladies and gents, is the finished skin makeup tutorial. Just this nice, very beachy, summery glow. So I just went ahead and took out my braids. So this finishes up today's makeup look. I really, really do hope you guys got a thing or two out of it. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe down below. Just click that little red button down below. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell before you leave so you guys can stay up to date with all my latest videos and tutorials. Otherwise, have an amazing day, guys. I love you all so much and I'll see you very soon. Bye.